Copa America champion Argentina has named its 26-man squad for the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. In the squad picked by Lionel Scaloni, the most glaring miss is Giovanni Lo Celso, who will be out of the World Cup due to a leg muscle tear he suffered while playing for Villarreal. The two-time world champion is currently on an undefeated run of 35 games, just two away from equaling Italy's run under Roberto Mancini. With the absence of Lo Celso, Scaloni can resort to a 4-3-3 formation instead of a 4-2-3-1, where Lo Celso would have played the traditional number 10 role. Aston Villa goalkeeper Emiliano Martinez looks likely to be the preferred first-choice stopper for Argentina. With a towering presence in goal, Martinez is known to command great respect over his backline and is known for maintaining constant communication with his defence. He is also adept at organising his backline when it comes to set pieces. Be it shot stopping or coming off his line to clear danger, Martinez has hardly put a foot wrong in recent times for his national side. Argentina have very few concerns at the back at the moment, with Nicolas Otamendi and Christian Romero looking ready to be the starting partnership. Scaloni also has Lisandro Martinez in his ranks, who has been one of Manchester United's best players this season. Otamendi who plays as a centre-back for Portuguese Primera Liga club Benfica will play as the left-sided centre-back. Christian Gabriel Romero is an Argentine professional footballer who plays as a centre-back for Premier League club Tottenham Hotspur. He is set to start as the right-sided centre-back for Argentina. The Argentinian centre-back has been absent for three of the last four games with a calf problem for Tottenham Hotspurs but should be fit for the first game for Argentina. For full-backs, Scaloni is expected to go with Nicolas Togliafico and Noel Molina. Among the two, Togliafico offers more offensive contributions and his runs on the overlap and underlap, can be beneficial for Argentina, especially with a finisher like Lautaro Martinez in the box, who has a good aerial presence. Molina's offensive contribution might not be at par with Togliafico, but he makes up for it with his tackling abilities. Also, even if he does join the attack, he has shown signs of quickly tracking back when his team loses the ball. This aspect will come in handy, especially when Argentina is hit on the counter. Argentina pose a strong threat from midfield as they have a nice mix of experience and youth, although they will be without Giovanna Lo Celso who has been ruled out through injury. The 26-year-old was replaced during Vireal's La Liga loss against Athletic Bilbao on October 30 and scans confirmed that the midfielder suffered a hamstring tear. Leandro Daniel Paredes who plays as a defensive midfielder for Serie A club Juventus will start as the defensive midfielder for Argentina team supported by DePaul and one of Enzo Fernandez or Mac Allister. DePaul might not be having the best season in club colors, but he has shown to be a completely different player when he dons that blue and white shirt. A team player, he is the engine that Scaloni will depend on, to marshal the middle of the park and initiate play for the forward line. Apart from his agility to cover large parts on the ground and breaking up play, DePaul can find the occasional good pass to split defenses. It was his pass that set up Angel Di Maria's goal that won Argentina the Copa America title in 2021. Along with DePaul, Scaloni is expected to field Leandro Paredes and young Enzo Fernandez, who plays for Benfica or Mac Allister who plays for Premier League side Brighton. Enzo Fernandez has been in fine form for Benfica and has been subjected to interest from Manchester City and Liverpool. Enzo Fernandez will play the more advanced of the midfield three and will mostly compete with Mac Allister for the starting spot. The midfielder joined Benfica in the recent transfer window from a club in his home country, River Plate. And the Argentine has hit the ground running in Portugal and has scored three goals and has four assists to his name. Mac Allister has only been a regular at Brighton since midway through last season, but he has been on elite radars for most of his professional career, making his senior international debut three years ago while applying his trade in Buenos Aires. Mac Allister ranks third in the Premier League for winning back possession in the middle third of the pitch this season, surpassed only by defensive midfielders Declan Rice and Rodri. Forwards this is Argentina's most exciting arena across the pitch. Obviously, having one of the best players in the world in Lionel Messi comes with its perks, but one of the best things Scaloni has done under his tenure is to move Argentina away from the Messi-centric approach and make everyone accountable. It's hard to complain about your team's attack when you have Messi leading the line. Messi has been in excellent form for Argentina recently and the PSG forward will be hoping to put on a stellar show for his country at the 2022 World Cup in Qatar as well. It is likely that this is going to be his last World Cup as a player. Messi and Di Maria on the flanks will mean a lot of service for the target man Lautaro, 
who will essentially play the number 9 position. Apart from Messi's ability to take players on and score goals, over the years, he has molded his style of play according to his strengths and has turned into one of the best playmakers in world football. He has 14 assists for Paris Saint-Germain this season which is enough proof of his ability to create chances. Lautaro Martinez, who is in the middle of the front three will need to maintain constant communication with his wingers. He does have the ability to beat his marker and score goals, but his fox-in-the-box approach will also be useful for Argentina. Although not 100% fit, Scaloni has kept Paolo Dybala in his squad. Dybala, on his day, can trouble any defense, but often, he hasn't been able to live up to the billing in national colors. Nonetheless, he is an important player to have. Strongest 11 Emiliano Martinez in goal with the centre-back pairing of Otamendi and Romero with Molina and Tagliafico as the right and left back respectively Paredes will play the deeper midfielder. De Paul and Enzo or McAllister will be the other midfielders. Messi Di Maria and Lautaro Martinez will be the strongest front line for Argentina Can Lionel Messi lead Argentina to glory? Well, this is the 11th that Argentina are likely to field in Qatar. They have been boosted by the fact Angel Di Maria looks to be winning his race to be fit while Lautaro Martinez leads the line.